we are trying a new a new angle um, I'm usually sitting right in front of my mirror but I feel like you can get a little obnoxious because you can really see my reflection and even though you can see me right there a little bit it's not as distracting let me know if you guys like this angle maybe I can switch it up a little bit more so you don't see me so much in the mirror do you prefer the old one let me know so we're gonna start with skin this has been my new go-to moisturizer for the morning because my skin has been a little dry and then there's days that it gets oily so I've just been switching back and forth between my moisturizers. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Serum. This contains hyaluronic acid and it's perfect for skin that is sensitive. It doesn't clog your pores and it's oil free and it just gives you this boost of hydration. So I've been really enjoying this product and I just apply one pump all over my skin and it really does do a great job at like just hydrating. Another product that I've been really loving are the Sephora Cucumber Eye Masks, which are these right here. They're a little bit dirty because I have like so many backups of these. You guys know that I struggle with like insomnia and I just, I'm a very light sleeper so any little noise wakes me up. And these little eye masks just really help to depuff the eyes. Another product from the Hydro Boost line from Neutrogena. Oh my god, can I speak? Neutrogena. This is their body gel cream. I have been obsessed with this. I posted it on my Instagram and tons of you wanted to know if I liked it. And obviously it made it to my favorites, which means I totally loved it. This is for normal to dry skin. They also have for sensitive skin. And I just love the way this leaves my skin. It leaves it replenished and hydrated. Even my little girl loves it. She's been using it so much. So I really recommend this one. They also have a little small one for like your hands, like a hand cream. But I just like this one for like an all over moisturizing type of lotion. For my eyes, I don't think this is going to be a surprise. My go-to or my favorites, my most picked up palette for the month was the So Jaded Kathleen Lights X Color Pop Palette. I have done a few looks with this palette and I've just been really enjoying the color selection, the formula, pretty much everything about this palette is just absolutely gorgeous. So we're definitely going to be using this today. Another monthly favorite was, now I know that I'm technically cheating on this one because I just tried them out. But listen, ever since I tested these out, I have not been able to put them down. The LA Colors Ultimate Cover Concealer. I've been mixing Honey and Golden, which are these two. These are $5, extremely affordable, and they're super pigmented. So I'm actually just going to take the shade Honey, and I'm going to use this as a base for my eyes. So we're going to use it as an eyeshadow primer. I don't know what look I'm going for, but I have an idea of kind of like what I want. So I am going to start with, ooh, I think I'm going to start with You're a Gem, which is the pretty peachy color. And we're just going to swipe that across the lid, not the lid, but the crease. Just going to take a little bit of My Precious, which is a vanilla shade. You guys already know. What do you guys think about ColourPop releasing products like literally every Friday it seems like? Um, I think it's pretty cool that a brand can stay like innovative and like fast paced. I know some people are like overwhelmed by everything but I don't get why like you don't have to buy everything that they sell. I know that it makes it harder for you to shop because you literally do want to buy everything they always put out because they're products are so darn good but I don't get why people stress like people stress over things gay you know that they shouldn't I think I know where I'm going with this look I'm just gonna roll with the punches we're gonna see how it turns out at the end we're gonna go into the shade carnelian which is that like burnt orange shade and what we're going to do is we're just going to pack it on to the crease right here where your socket is naturally you should be able to feel your socket. Do you guys see how I'm like pushing in the brush? That's where your socket naturally like is. You just want to throw that baby in there. Especially for us girls that so we don't have like deep set eyes. It's harder for you to feel where your socket is. Just do this and you'll be able to notice right away where it is. So 
And then I'm going to go back with that brush that I used to lay down your gem and just slightly blending that upwards. I'm going to try and do a soft glam try, hence the word. <laughs> like soft glam, who is she? We don't know her here. For all over the lid, I want to take the shade Garnet, Garnet, but first I'm going to lay down a base. So I'm going to take a liquid eyeshadow. This is the Liquid Cat Suit eyeshadow in the shade Kiss of Death. And I am mainly concentrating that at the lash line because that's where I want the most focus to be. And then just lightly blending that upwards. You want to do more like packy motions. Before that dries, I'm going to go pick up that shade and we're just going to lay it down. Oh, yes. I think I'm going to take a little bit of diamond, which is the gorgeous, like, pressed shadow, and I think I'm just going to. Yeah, I'm just going to press that all over. Maybe we'll just keep it in the center. I don't know. Let's see. I am really digging the eye look. So uh, let's keep the ball rolling. I'm actually just going to quickly apply, uh, bleh, apply my primer um, while that gets tacky. I am going to apply some lashes. For my lashes, these have been my go-to for obviously the month of September. These are the I Lore London Luxe Silk Lashes in the style Marquise. These are really pretty. They're a little bit fluffy, not too dramatic, but they have enough drama to really open up the eyes. My favorite mascara has been the LA Girl Vol um, Volumatic Full-On Volumizing Lash Lifting Mascara. Mine's like drying out. Look at that. <laughs> Mine's like pretty much dried out. Um, I'm probably going to have to pick up a new one. But oh, I am just so bad when it comes to buying new mascaras because like I have so many opened mascaras that I'm like, do I really need it? But I do like how this one elongates my lower lashes. It just makes them super full. For my foundation, I have literally been loving these two foundations, especially this one. I took this one with me to Vegas because I just know that this foundation just makes me look bomb the entire day. This one, I really like it as well, and I've really been using it, but I have noticed that I need to set this one. So since they both are my favorites, we're going to mix them. We're going to take the NYX Born to Glow Foundation in Caramel. And to the Clinique Even Better Refresh Hydrating and Repairing Makeup in the shade Honey Wheat. I don't know if the NYX foundation oxidizes or not. Like, I haven't been able to pinpoint it. But I have a feeling that it does, like, slightly oxidize. So maybe I'm going to have to go, like, two shades lighter than what I have right now. Because, I don't know, I just feel like I look extremely tan. And don't get me wrong, I love looking tan. But this is like on another level 10. <laughs> For my concealer, like I said, I've been taking the LA Colors concealer. So nothing new here. Just blending those two together. While I'm blending this out, I wanted to give you guys a few Netflix recommendations movies that i've seen um because i know some of you have like similar tastes to what i like to watch so if you are like a crime junkie if you like like documentary documentaries of like crime and stuff you enjoy shows like that i really recommend the new show that's called unbelievable it's been like a popular show i've heard so many people talking about it it's really good um just beware or viewer beware it is about rape um so it can be a little like disturbing at times but i've heard that it's based on like true facts which i don't know i really haven't done my research on it but it's such a good show another one that i just finished watching with ryan is surviving r kelly that stuff is intense it's pretty much about the same thing you guys know that there's so many allegations against him like 
um, being with minors and stuff like that. Really good shows, both of them. It's just very eye-opening to life itself and uh, so much tragedy, you know. Skin is set. So I'm going to go in with my favorite blush and bronzer. I took these with me to Vegas and oh my god, my sister used them and she was like, what is this? These are the Cat Beauty Blush Mellow. This is um, Dolly Peach and this is the Angel Kisses, which technically they're supposed to be blushes. Technically, I don't care. I use them as a bronzer and a blush. <laughs> this is very intense, so a little goes a long way. But I just love how this makes his skin feel or look flushed, like so naturally. I don't know what it is about this. I don't know if it's a color, if it's a formula, but I really, really like this one. I have been going a little more heavy-handed with my blush. Just because I always notice that this one fades away within like a few hours. And I'm like, what's going on? Now for my highlights, this has also been my oops, my go-to. This is um, by the brand Minena, and this is their Gleams Highlighter Palette. I don't know if I mentioned this, but they are cruelty-free, and they are designed in the USA, and it is a Latino-owned brand. You guys know i got to rep my Latino fam. This highlight is absolutely stunning. I just mix both of these shades. I go in with this one first. Look at that. That is intense. I don't have any uh, the, but I don't have any new or favorite lip products, so I'm just going to go in with my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks that I ordered in the mail. I also ordered these during the 21 Days of Beauty from Ulta because they were on sale. So I'm going to take the shade Knock on Wood, and then I'm going to apply Sand in the middle. <gasps> Why do I stick with nudes? I'm going to take a little bit of sand. And that is it, you guys. This is a full face using all the products I was loving, living, breathing, and dying for in the month of September. Oh my god, October is here. Are you guys dressing up for Halloween? I never do. My little girl does. So anyways, before we exit out of the video, I just wanted to mention two products that I obviously can't use in the video for one reason or another. The first one is this finishing hair cream. I mentioned this in my last video, but this finishing cream is amazing for baby hairs, for slaying your baby hairs. If you have a lot of like hair fallouts or a lot of like those crazy hairs that just won't stay down, this stuff is no joke. It stays on and does not go anywhere. And one that was kind of a flop for me is the YSL All Hours from Foundation. This is an up to 24 hour wear. It contains a sunscreen of SPF of 20. It is a full coverage, flawless matte, oil free foundation. Now, the only reason why this one didn't work out for me is because the color was totally off, which is why I hate getting foundations in the mail. This was sent to me in PR. They sent me one shade, which is Warm Almond, and I was really looking forward to trying this foundation, but I mean, like, who am I kidding? Like, I could use this as a concealer, but I cannot use this as a foundation itself. So I'm really bummed out that I can't even try this foundation because obviously, like, it's nowhere near close to my skin color. So as always, leave me in the comment section down below what your favorite product was for the month of September, and I will definitely check it out. Thank you guys for joining me today. I love you so much, and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye!